So as you can see here, um, I'm measuring out the, um, the width of the braces. Um, so from what I can tell, it's about seven millimeters wide or if we're measuring in, in uh, inches, it'd probably be close to um, two, four, six, eight. So nine thirty seconds wide. Um, so I'll be showing you how to take your stock and rip it down by hand for those of you who have hand saws. And um, the rest of you can use a table saw and or a band saw. But I'll show you how to do it by hand. Okay, so what you'll need is a marking gauge. So what a marking gauge is, is you see there's a cutter knife here and the body can slide along the cutter knife. So what I'll do is I'll take it, set the body here and then set it to roughly 5 sixteenths. So we want it just a bit wider than this width here. So let me get this set up at the correct distance and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I've selected my stock and I've done a video on uh, how to select your wood for bracing. And what I'll do is simply take this and you see how that leaves a, a nice line? So you just run it. Don't put too much pressure at first. Do it the whole length. Sorry, I'm out of the shot. And then pass it a second time. There we go. So now we have a nice marked line and we'll be using this line to help us guide the, uh, the saw for sawing. Just a tip before you start cutting. What you can do is grab yourself a knife blade and just go at an angle like this. And you see that small sliver that's coming out? I'm sort of cutting a V. Notice that I'm cutting on the waist side. So basically you want the V on the side that you're going to be cutting out because you want to keep this wood intact. If that makes any sense. So just finishing up and there we go. So that'll give you a sort of track for your saw to run in. Next step is I will be taking my Japanese rip saw. Uh, ideally you want to be using a rip saw, uh, but a cross cut saw will also work. It just takes longer and it doesn't cut as well, but it still works. And then we just put our thumb exactly on the line like this. And when you start out the saw cut, just start slow. And then the make long strokes and your guideline will basically help you keep straight. So you want to keep nice, long, even strokes. The longer the strokes you can do with the least amount of pressure will help guide the, uh, the saw smoothly. That way you get a nice cut. So I'll just finish this up and we'll get to the next part. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut outside. Um, just outside my gauge line and what we'll do next is uh, we'll come in and just clean it up with a hand plane. I'll show you how to do that also. 
Okay guys, so next step is to, this is a test piece and we'll be adjusting our hand plane to get even shavings. Now, the way, there's two ways you can adjust this. First way is to take the adjuster and you see how the, the whole blade's moving from side to side. Um, obviously you want your blade to be centered. So when you take a shaving, you want the shaving to be equal thicknesses. So what I'll do now is I'll make one side thicker than the other to demonstrate what, what happens if it's wrong. So right now this side is way out. You can see, um, you kind of see the, the shine there. There we go. Um, yeah, you see how that's, this side is much more far out than this side. So if I take a shaving, I could barely push that. Big thick shaving on that side. On this side, it's barely taking anything. So that means I need to push the blade this way. Uh, basically, you're tilting the blade so that it's doing this. So you can either adjust it with the adjuster here, left and right. What I like to do is just take a small hammer and adjust it till it's correct. And I'll do that right now and show you the result. Okay, so now, you see we got that shaving on that side. And see nice full shaving on the other side. So they're also full shaving on that side. That means that the, uh, the knife is now the same distance out on both sides. Uh, next step is basically to just adjust the uh, depth of cut. So you can see right now the shiny part is the blade and that's how much it's coming out. Now see it's gone. So I want it barely, barely out, just like that. And also we can adjust the throat of the plane at the front here. So what you do is you loosen this and you can see here I can widen it or make it very, very thin. Now, if you're working on a guitar, you're barely taking off any material. You don't want to take huge shavings. You want to take a nice smooth shaving. So a, a very narrow opening will let you Take very fine shavings and not a lot of material is getting cut. The reason being that if you want um, a nice deep cut where you're taking off a lot of material, you're going to need a wider opening to accommodate those bigger shavings. So, see, barely took a shaving. That means my iron isn't out far enough. So, I'm just going to move the iron out. There we go. You can see these nice shavings coming out. So, this is kind of what you're looking for. You want that nice smooth finish. So, I'll just get back to my, my brace because that was just my test piece. You always want to test your um, plane before starting the real work. So I noticed as I was, as I was planing um, that the wood was flexing too much. So what you can do is you can lay yourself on the bench directly and just flip your piece over. That way you get you get support on each side. That way you're not flexing your piece. Like that. Keep flipping it. So there we go. We've got it down to our proper thickness. And we can just line it up with our with our template here to see how close we are. And that's 
pretty much where we need to be. And next step will just be to cut to the proper length. That's fairly easy. I'll show you a trick for that. And repeat the same operation for every single one of these. Okay, so to cross cut your pieces, um, you can make what's called bench hooks. So basically it's one board with a block on each end. And what happens is you hook this into your bench like this. And if you're, if you're right handed, obviously you want the right hand side to be cut on this side. So if you're cutting out this piece, you want it on the right side. And what I'm doing is I'm pushing against the hook so that it creates a pressure. And just insert your piece. When you get to the end, slow down a little bit, and there we go. We have a nice, perfectly square cut piece. And the nice thing about the bench hook is you're not marking up your your nice uh, workbench. So that's how you cut your pieces the length. Okay, so next step, I'm laying out uh, the basically the cross brace at the center of the guitar. So what I'm doing here is I'm looking at it from straight down and I'm trying to line up my pieces exactly where I need them to be which is pretty much right here and what I'll do is I'll come in and cut a little slot. Now I just moved, but that's okay. I can just re reposition it exactly where it needs to be and then do the other side. There we go. So now I have two perfect lines to set my saw in. So as you can see, I have my angle that I need. So the next step will be to take your, your square. <clears throat> Basically you're going to line it up exactly to that line. Like so. So basically we're lined up. Then you want to go and measure halfway down like this with your, with your knife. So you go to a halfway point, do the same here, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so now what you're going to be doing is going inside the lines with your saw. So you want to be cutting on the inside here. You don't want to be cutting on the outside. You want to be cutting out this section. So what you do is you start off your cut on top and then to keep vertical switch your piece around and just make yourself a little guide here. There we go. And now you can cut down straight. Now don't go all the way down to your halfway mark just yet. I'll explain why. So as you can see, we're not exactly halfway. Uh, the reason being uh, is I'm going to be cutting two more notches here and here with my saw. These don't need to be exact. And then what we'll do is we'll come here across like this 
with a chisel so we'll be going straight down with the chisel to take out the, uh, the extra stuff so I'll show you what that looks like so there's my two saw curves so next step is just taking a, a narrower chisel than the opening and cutting down so basically you're taking your chisel make sure you follow the angle that you need so not perfectly vertical but a bit at an angle like this and then chop straight down there we go and now we'll repeat that again see now we're close to the halfway mark so now I'll be just finishing up by hand the rest but you can see it's cut out a really nice notch Flip it to the other side. And be gentle. Now, that should be pretty close. A little bit more here. Getting there. This corner here. So you just go slowly from each side. Make sure your chisel's sharp. I will be posting a video on how to sharpen your chisels. But that's pretty much it. So now we take one of our scraps and see see we're too tight. But that's okay, that's what we want. Right now it's not going into the slot. So what we'll do is we'll take our chisel and we'll just take it this way and pair straight down. I'm gonna switch to a wider chisel for this. Okay, so now just taking my chisel and following the angle as best as I can. Your knife line that you cut earlier will help you with this. It'll help you tell you where exactly you need to be. And just cut straight down like this. Now, take your other cross piece, line it up, then it's close, it's very close. Um, so it just needs a little bit more, you can see the line there, so I need to take off just a sliver more. So whenever you're doing this, the key is just be patient, take your time, nice sharp tools, and Take very small shavings till the fit you desire. Obviously you want the joint to be tight, tight before you start and then sneak up on it till it just fits. There we go. Perfect. See now the joint, I don't even need to hold the other piece up because the joint is so tight. So that's, that's what you want. And now you just have to do the opposite on this piece. So you flip your piece around, mark out the other one, and repeat the same operation. So you're going to go halfway down, and that'll give you your cross brace. Okay, so to mark out the other brace, what I did is I lined it up on my picture, on my reference. And basically right now it's lined up. What you're going to do is take your knife, score here score the opposite side take this piece out and then you have uh, it's hard to see but I have a line here and a line here 
and then we'll repeat the same operation as before. So there it is cleaned up. So the joints are nice and tight. The only thing that is not a big deal, you can see here it didn't go to full depth, but we can easily fix that with just a, a swipe of the, the plane. You can see that little ridge right there. So just take that off with the hand plane, do the same on the opposite side, and you'll be good to go.